Brady Belsky. I am with Brown's Volkswagen on the Lothian Turnpike, and today we will be taking a look at the 2019 Ford Edge Titanium SUV. Taking a look underneath the hood now. This car comes with an EcoBoost 2 liter 4 cylinder engine. It's got an 8 speed automatic transmission. My favorite part underneath the hood is the easy accessibility you have for changing out your headlights. You can see how clean everything is. Obviously the previous owner took a lot of care in this vehicle. All of your fluids are clearly marked and easily accessible. Underneath the hood itself, you're going to see the sound shielding and that's going to keep the cabin nice and quiet. The Ford Edge is a really fantastic vehicle. We're going to take a look at some of those features now. At the front of the car, you're going to see those nice, broad, fully automatic headlights. You're going to get fog lights in the front as well. You have alloy wheels and new tires on this vehicle, so the tread is in excellent condition. You're going to see really good gas mileage too with this vehicle. You're going to see about 22 miles to the gallon in the city and 29 miles to the gallon on the highway. So looking down the side of the vehicle, it's a little bit hard to see in the video, but there's black cladding. It's a material down at the very bottom. It's going to protect the car and the paint from um, rocks and dirt, anything bouncing up off the pavement. These side mirrors, they're heated and they're breakaway mirrors, so they fold in both directions which is really convenient for tight parking spots. The car is lined with that nice chrome trim all the way around. And coming around to the back of the vehicle, again, you're gonna see those nice broad tail lights. And right above the lights on this plate, you'll get a look at the backup camera. If you wanna open the hatch, it is automatic. You're just gonna press and release and it'll open automatically, revealing all of the spacious cargo area. If you look under here, you're going to see the spare tire jack and all the tools you'll need to change the tire. If you do want to increase your cargo space, you can put down the second row seats. They're really easy to put down. You can use these buttons here. So just press and hold and those seats will fold right down by themselves. This car has a very convenient automatic lift tailgate. So once you're done with it, you just press the button and it'll close. Walking around this side of the vehicle, we're gonna go get inside the back seat. So I'm seated in the second row. First of all, these back seats are really comfortable. This is really nice, real leather. It's beautiful back here, it smells good. There's plenty of leg room. There's some pockets on the, on the seats. And on each door, you're gonna see your speaker, your cup holders, another speaker, and then your controls for your windows. There's also this beautiful sunroof and it goes all the way back so it just lets a ton of light in. It's really really nice and it kind of opens up the space and makes everything feel very open back here. The second row seats also come with these heated seat options so the controls for the heated seats are there and then you also have your outlets here as well. Climbing into the front passenger seat, again you'll notice lots of leg room up here. The seats are really comfortable. Um, you get power controls for your seats on both the driver and the passenger side, so it makes it very convenient. You'll get this nice big glove compartment. You'll see all of your vents for your climate controls, your speaker, power locks, control for your mirror, and of course um, cup holders down here. And then in the middle you'll see your um, space down here for your cup, cup holders. And then down here, if your phone is compatible, it'll actually charge wirelessly there if you place it inside this compartment. And then you get um, extra USB ports. A really great feature of this car is the fact that you can adjust the steering wheel level um, power with your power controls here. So that's really nice. Um, you'll also notice on your armrest all of your controls for your mirrors and then here's to adjust those side mirrors. 
Um, and then if you look closely at the side mirror, you can see the little icon on the left-hand side, and that's like your blind spot monitoring icon there. So once it lights up, that just means someone's in your blind spot. And here are all of your headlight controls down here there. And you also get um, your windshield wiper controls here. On the steering wheel itself, on the left-hand side, you'll have all of your cruise control settings here. And then once you've connected your device, um, you can use your device hands-free with these controls here. So looking up at the cockpit, you're going to see two screens on either side. These screens, you can change what you see on them. Um, the controls are on the right-hand side for this screen. You get the options of looking at your entertainment, your navigation, or your phone. You can toggle through your options up and down and press OK when you've decided. So if you hit navigation, you'll see your navigation on there. On the other screen, you're going to be able to flip through using these up and down arrows on the other side of your steering wheel. And you'll be able to see all of your driver assistance um, options, such as your trip, your fuel economy, your driver assistance features, which include blind spot, cross traffic alert, cruise control, driver alert, lane keeping system, pre-collision, all of that good stuff that's found there in that menu. Going down, you can have your settings button there and you can get more um, vehicle information. So those are what those two screens are for. Then you're gonna come over and see your touch screen here. So we're kind of on the home settings option here. Um, this is kind of like the home screen you're gonna see. You'll also have your option just to go to your apps and then connect a device such as your phone. You can also connect um, via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay if you'd prefer. Your audio is going to bring you to um, your radio settings and options. You can also adjust your climate control zones from this screen here, so that's very convenient. Your other option for um, adjusting your climate controls are down here, so this is if you want, want to do it manually. It's dual climate control zoned, so the passenger the passenger will have their side and the driver will have their side. So you can adjust the fan speed. This is for your air conditioned seats and this button is for your heated seats. Two really great features I like about this vehicle is the um, integrated navigation system so everything's already set up and ready to go for you. And also of course the backup camera so once you put the car into reverse the backup camera will click on and you can back up safely using the help of these moving navigation lines, as well as this area overview of the vehicle to give you um, the best determination about what is in your vehicle's path. The controls for your sunroof are gonna be found up here. So if you click it open, you'll see it open all the way up. And then if you wanna close it, you'll click this one. Or you can hold it if you want it to close it all the way. So if you only want it open a certain amount, that's up to you. And then you'll also see your reading lights. And then have the options for the other lighting inside the car as well. And down here you'll see this really nice large middle console. It's actually a double layer, so there is another layer on top as well. Lots of the storage space there. This vehicle overall is just extremely comfortable. Um, the seats feel really great sitting in them. Everything's like pretty much power controlled, so everything is super comfortable and very convenient. So that is the 2019 Ford Edge Titanium. If you like what you see or if you have any questions about this vehicle, you can contact me at 804-551-5537. Again, my name is Brainy Belsky. I am with Brown's Volkswagen on Lothian Turnpike. Thank you so much for watching.